Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is Unknown and welcome back to another Vlogs Fruits video. Now, I'm sure you guys read the title and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get Human version 3. Obviously, first you're going to have to get Human version 2. I already made a video on me getting Human version 2, so if you do not know how to get Human, human version 2, watch that video. Secondly, you're going to need $2,000, uh, or not $2,000, 2 million. And the third requirement, you're actually going to need a Vlogs Fruit. And the specific Vlogs Fruit you're going to need has to have a value that is over 1 million so if I go to my menu right here and then I go to items and then I go to inventory if I scroll down here you can see that I have the quake fruit so this quake fruit is actually perfect for what I need in order to get human version 3 now if you guys are new to this channel please hit the like button and subscribe down below I'll be posting more black fruit content in the future so if you like what you're seeing right now, consider to drop a like and sub. All right, anyways, let's get into this video. So what you're gonna wanna do is, first, obviously, you're gonna wanna get um, a fruit that is worth over or exactly one million. Um, that's probably the hardest part to get to, to, to do this. Uh, you could probably trade for it or you could either go, you can probably get lucky from right here. What I did, I traded it for it. I, I had like two lights in the, like, I got two lights while I was grinding. So I was able to trade a light for um, a quake fruit, and that's how I got the quake fruit. So in order to get to the uh, area where you're gonna have to like do all the stuff, is you're gonna want to go actually up to here. And up here is called the mansion, and there's a certain NPC in here where you give the fruit. So let's go up there. I'm gonna just quickly teleport up there, just like that, and then jump up there. All right. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to the front entrance over here. What you're going to want to do is you want to come through the doors and then talk to this guy right here. And I advise having your fruit out at this point. Make sure there's no one around because if you die with the fruit in your inventory, it lo you lose it forever. So you're going to want to be fast with this. You want to come to Trevor, right here, the NPC name. And then you're going to want to press talk. You seem strong. Are you here to join our organization? Sure. Bring me an expensive box fruit to prove yourself worthy of speaking to Swan. And this expensive box fruit you're going to want to bring is Quake Fruit. And then you press all right. Don't disappoint me. And then you can come back again, press talk, see, give it a closer look, excellent, and now we have access to Swan. So if you guys don't know this, once you give him the fruit, you don't have to give him another fruit again, and Swan should spawn right here. So if he doesn't spawn right there, what I suggest you guys doing is just server hopping and keep on coming up here, because you don't have to keep on repeating on giving him the, uh, the fruit. This is the same for every single time you like get a V3 race. You only have to do it once in your entire time of playing Black Shirts. That's it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to quickly serve hop a bunch of times until he spawns there because he's a pretty popular boss to kill as he does drop the, uh, the swan glasses and the swan glasses are a pretty good late game for a bunch of like versatile builds. All right, so I got lucky that my first server I serve hop to, he's here. So what we're gonna do is just gonna have to kill him. He actually has two lives, so as you see, he's really easy to kill in the beginning. But then, just like the first boss, or like the Don Swan boss in the prison in the first C, yep, just like that, he kind of does. Whoa, he kind of transforms into not the not the Don Swan, the Fisherman boss in the first C. He kind of gets another life, and then he just does this again. But he's honestly not that hard of a boss. Just kind of stay stay away of his attacks, and just like that. We've unlocked the Heavenly Devil title and the Swan Ship, and we get access to the guy who gives us the third C quest, or the Human V3 quest. So, I'm going to go into a private server and we're going to go talk to him. So, if you meet all the requirements, that is, you have $2 million, you have a race that is in the BT, B2 state, and you have defeated Don Swan, what you're going to want to do is you want to come up here to where the Diamond Boss spawns, he hasn't spawned yet, but you're going to want to come up here to the Flower Patch, and then you're going to go to the area that is closest to the Great Bear Island right over here. And then you're going to want to drop down. And then there's going to be a secret wall like right here. So you're going to be able to walk right through this and talk to this guy right here named Arrow. And what he'll do, he'll give you all this dialect and say, let's begin. If it says let's begin, that's how you know it. you've done everything right. So you're going to want to talk to him, blah, blah, blah. We don't care. But then he'll give you the quest. And it says, excellent. Talk to me once again once you've defeated Jeremy, Vegeta, and Diamond. And if you aren't familiar with those names, those three are all boss names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wait in this private server for like a good 20 minutes because that's how long it takes for them to spawn. And then I'm going to kill them all at once. So I do actually recommend doing this, going to a private server. Um, it's 
kind of hard to do this in a public server because those these bosses are probably frequently killed and it's kind of hard to find them all in the same like all alive in the same server so i recommend going to a private server front if your friend has it and just killing all of them to get this so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna just wait 20 minutes and i'll come back to you guys when they all spawn all right so about 20 minutes have passed and diamond boss has actually spawned so what we're first gonna do we're gonna kill this boss then we're gonna go on to kill Jeremy, and then finally we're gonna go kill Vegeta. So let's kill this boss real quick. I'm gonna activate my devil skill so I do more damage. Keep on M1s, M1 spamming, M1 spamming. And boom, just like that, Diamond is killed. Now on to Jeremy. After you kill Diamond, Jeremy's all the way on that hill over there. So you're gonna have to make a bit of a run over there. All right, now we're at Jeremy, the Jeremy boss location. Let's go quickly kill this guy. These guys are all gonna be pretty easy to kill if you're around my level. Um, I don't recommend doing this if, like, you're under level 1000. I recommend you get uh, race v3 if you are, like, at least level 1000. So, if you want to get race v3 and you want it to be kind of easy to get race v3, you can get to level 1000. Or if you just want to get Buddha and just end one spam, that's probably the easiest way. Because, like, you can't really take damage that much if you're just kind of staying back a bit. So, either way, let's go on to Vegeta. And Vegeta can be found in the green zone past the big bridge over here. Alright, now we're about to come to Vegeta boss. I'm going to activate my devil skill so I do more damage. And then I'm going to just go into M1 spam. These guys are all pretty easy. I'm pretty sure this guy can actually drop the gravity cane. I think I have the gravity cane. Let me check this. But, yeah. This is what you kind of just want to do. You only have to kill them once. And then also, if you guys didn't know, you have to do it in the same server. Because if you leave the server, then you have to restart the quest again. So you don't want that to happen. So my my best method is just to wait 20 minutes for all the bosses to spawn and then kill them all on a private server. Because it's hard to do in a public server because some bosses might be there and some bosses might not be there. So now that we killed all three bosses, let's head on back to, to Arrow. Alright, and then if you guys don't remember, just look to where the graveyard is and then come over to this big flower right here and drop down. And boom, right here. Right on this wall. Alright, so let's talk to Arrow right here. Greetings, sir. Well done. Good. I've I've made toad I've made toads before me. Have So all you have to do is just press pay and boom. Just like that. We got a title, full power. That's actually pretty cool. I think I'll go equip that. And then um yeah, we got this move. And if you guys didn't know what this move is, activating it will give you a damage boost. Um just like this, you press T, that's the button. Uh it'll give you a damage boost. And then the more damage you've taken, so right now I'm at max health, but if I was at like half health, then I the more damage I've taken, then the more damage it gives me a damage boost. So say I was in a really tough situation, I was like at a thousand HP and then I hit someone with a combo and I activate this ability, then it'd be doing a lot of damage. I think the max it can do is like 50% more damage, and that's pretty good. Alright, so we go to the title specialist right here, and then it should be like one of the first first two. Yeah, the unleashed is right here, and then full power right here. Let's enable that. And then let's just equip Deep Peach, because that's like the highest one I have. And then let's type in the chat. And boom, just like that, full power. That actually looks pretty... Eh, maybe I'll equip... Maybe I'll equip uh, Spanish Pink, because that kind of looks more like my red. A few moments later... If you guys like this video, please consider dropping a like and leaving a sub. Um, next video, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing a PvP tournament, actually. And the requirements are you have to be max level. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be doing it in the first key Coliseum, but you do have to be max level for this. And then there's a bunch of other rules. So if you guys want to be in the uh, tournament, just DM me on Discord. I will put my Discord up here right now, and then I'll consider adding you guys to the um, tournament. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.